the secondary. Rodgers caught down to the seven yard line. A terrific grab made. And there was a lot of congestion there. It goes to the rookie, Tory Gurley, out of South Carolina. 13-yard pickup, first and goal. Well, keep an eye on Starks. He's going to get involved in a double team. He helps get that defensive end on the ground. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers, this is what he does as well as any quarterback in football, his ability to step around, step up in the pocket, slide to his right and left. What do you think of this kid, Rich? I like what he did last week. I thought he was uh, did a really nice job. Remember now, he's out there with a lot of young players. I thought he showed great poise. Did a good job directing traffic with that 13. On the 16, first and 10. Outside for Tory Gurley. Looking for agent out of South Carolina. His dad, Gurley's dad, played basketball at Virginia Tech, number 86. And his roommate, while at... Virginia Tech was Del Curry. Oh, long time. In. We haven't felt any of the elements. If anything, it's just a little bit cooler. Harold. Oh, he's got the first down to Gurley. Tory Gurley hauls it in. That's a 12-yard pickup through the air. And 25 seconds left. Yeah, excellent job. Top of your screen. Just driving it off. It's anticipation by Graham Harrell is what gets that play done. Because the cup. Flynn. What a catch by Gurley. Was he inbound? Yes, he was. At the 33 yard line. What a throw by Flynn. 25 yard pickup by Tory Gurley, who has this long reach, the longest at the combine among receivers. Gurley has looked really good this preseason. This is not an easy play. Right out in front of him, does a nice job being patient, fighting through it. And then watch this extension, as you pointed out, and a good throw. Up in Green Bay, no question. Yep. Second and six. They had Hasselbeck, too. Yeah. Remember, he moved on to Seattle. They had Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. Another one. They, they've had a knack through the years finding guys. Tory Gurley on the reception for Green Bay. He's a real question for the Packers. Two hours playing the left tackle. Dominguez playing the right tackle. It's second down and nine. Gurley. Rick Slant. Guarded by Marshall Green out of Mississippi State. Pick up of eight. Quick hitter by Harrell. They finally get it the third time. Remember now, these previous series, we've missed some throws to the left. They do a nice job faking the run inside, taking the easy throw outside. Receiver does a much better job looking back for this throw. So two other receivers earlier this evening not look, not be ready for this quick slant throw. They have that option. Anywhere. That's the challenge right now if you're the Packers. Second down and eight for Graham Hill. Good draw outside, Terry Gurley. Tory Gurley gets it and runs for 12 after the catch. That is a first down to the 15-yard line of Green Bay and some breathing space. The guy that's got their spot figured out, if you're one of those backup guys, it's going to help you make a roster a whole lot more if you can be a special teams guy. If you can be a linebacker that plays multiple positions, if you can be a DB that plays multiple positions, that's going to help you trying to make the roster. Graham Harrell firing a strike, picking up 16 yards on the quick slants to Tory Gurley. And they seem to be going after Fenner. Harrell's got something that he has going on as far as uh, connection-wise with Gurley. You wonder how, how often these two get practicing together because they very well. So look for him to play a large chunk of this game tonight as they try and get him in rhythm and try and get him ready for the regular season. First down and 10 from the 45. Pass the guy formation. Harrell play action rolling out to his right. Wants to go deep and going deep and has a man. And wide open. That's exactly how your play action is supposed to look to Tory Gurley for a gain of 54. Tackle made back like that. It's almost criminal. Second down 10. The Bears are all up on the line. Now they drop. Hoyer drops the throw. He's going to look for Gurley who's up and makes another catch over the 40-yard line. And he's got a first down into the Bear bench at the 43. Well, that's... 
We've talked about this play a lot tonight. They've run it three, four times. Every time Brian Hoyer has just thrown it perfect. The Bears corners and cover two have been playing hard into that flat throw. You see, you see the corner come up on Josh Cooper. Throw it over his head. Perfect time. It's the one day. Yeah, nice to see his athleticism. And again, I make jokes about sometimes defensive guys not having the best hands in the world. Even though that looked like a cupcake there to intercept. Michael Ford on the return, and there's Tory Gurley down there. First to make the tackle for the Browns. 7.46 remaining here in the third quarter, and the Browns only down by four now. They went for two and did not get it. And I mean they did not get it. That play technically against this field position right now. Third down and nine. They are one for six on third down tonight. Hoyer, deep drop, steps, fires. Gurley's open, caught it. He's got a first down to the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Tory Gurley again, a nice big target. Gets up in the air, and Hoyer drills it right in there. Again, we hear me talk about with Chicago here. Look at Gronkowski clearing the middle of the field to through replacing it with Curley on the square and Brian Hoyer with perfect perfect timing knowing exactly where the seam the hole is going to be Curley settles down for a young receiver nice in that hole fantastic play for third third and long 20 yards worth and a first down and he's young he's younger too he's in his mid 40s well Jermaine Cook made that catch over the middle could not get the first down the Browns will punt Spencer Lanning is in to punt and back deep is Jabin Sambrano. Out of a tumbling punt. Hasn't been a great night for Lanning. And wow, Tory Gurley came down. And it was bang, bang after Sambrano made the catch. Gurley was right there when he made it. And he made the hit. The wide receiver, Tory Gurley. Watch this. He catches and number nine's right there. I tell you, he was right there, but... I think the Colts number 37 had uh, had a harder hit. Let's go down to the Browns sideline right now. Here's Dave with an injury update. All right, Jim, thanks. Nothing official from the Browns yet on Jason Campbell, but I saw him working on his. Eric McManus, the 50B on third down. Time for Hoyer. He throws outside. He's got a man, and he completes it up across the 25-yard line to the 27. Tory Gurley, first year man out of South Carolina with a catch and a pickup of 17, a first down. Hoyer with Miguel Masonette, his running back, and Hoyer delivers on the money. Tory Gurley made the catch, and Gurley's out over the 25 to the 26 yard line. Same with the uh, onside kick rules. You have to be balanced in how you go at it, and you're not allowed to go down and wipe out guys like you used to. So he punts it up into the air on a punch. It got one hop and it's caught on the fly as Mike Edwards makes the grab out by midfield with 2.03 left to go. And the Browns survive the onside kick attempt and they'll get the ball. Do it nowadays. There it is. That bounce kick gets that big hop up in the air and Roberson goes up with the good hands and comes down with it. And the Browns get the ball back. Now there's a guy that's made some plays here tonight when he's got the... Um, obesity is a big issue within the, within our country. Um, there's a direct correlation to hydration and dehydration and getting concussions. So making kids aware and making adults aware that there's some things you could do to actually help, help minimize the risks. Stephen Miller made the catch and Tory Gurley was right on him and made the tackle after a 45-yard punt by Spencer Lanny. Nice play by Gurley, the wide receiver of the Browns. And now with a minute 43 left to go, the ball goes back over to the Lions, and I believe we're going to see our former buddy Thaddeus Lewis come in at quarterback for the Detroit Lions. When last... Although Miami was held 20 yards, 23 attempts and the Browns did come up with four sacks. Well, he will run it up to the 15. Across the 15-yard uh, line. It is an 18-yard. So now that allows them to sit on just about every single route these receivers are running. Browns need the Miami 43. They have it fourth down and 10. Obanaya with a block inside. And they've got Tory Gurley signed to the practice squad earlier. 
off the practice squad yesterday. 15-yard pickup. He's played for like six or seven teams, but that's his first NFL catch in his first NFL game. And they need him because we talk about the lack of size for other receivers. Girl, he's a big guy. 6'4", 230. Spin second out of five at the 45-yard line. Richardson remains in the backfield. That's Little in motion. Richardson. He is hit down. He ran into a couple of Ravens led by Purnell. On the other side, it's you, know, you got to pick your poison. And right there, you look at the right tackle, Mitchell Schwartz. He just struggles, struggles with Dumerville, who goes low underneath. Spencer Lanning coming on to punt. Tandon Doss back at his 10. And it's a short punt. Fair catch called for. Doss takes it. At the 20-yard line, a 29-yard punt. But coming up for Sam Cook, Travis Benjamin is, is back deep. In preseason, Benjamin actually returned two punts for touchdowns. One was brought back, though, due to a penalty. Benjamin back at his, his 15. Just under two minutes to go in this first quarter. 3 nothing, Cleveland. Good hang time. Once again, a, a good directional cut, and uh, Benjamin, it appeared, was calling for a fair catch. That's what the crowd is upset about. Man, was he good with them. His brother plays at Alabama as well. Tool now, nice protection. Here comes Howard Jones chasing him, and this one's going to be almost picked off. And it was complete instead. It is a reception there for Tory Gurley. It looked like the Steelers might have come away with an interception. What well, was that a good effort? I, I like you thought it was intercepted. Let's look how close this is. First of all, no pressure, so he gets to roll out of the pocket. Wow, that was close. That was really close. Lou Toller, who got turned inside out by Sammy Watkins at Garvin in pursuit right there. And he makes the play on Ronnie Wingo. The throw from in the pocket. Tool now looking down and finds his man, Tory Gurley. Gurley gets yardage there, and Jordan Dangerfield gets mixed up with a Bill player. That's a gain of 15 yards as they move the chains again. Gurley fired up, saying, let's go. Give me the ball again. Dick LeBeau trying to concentrate, make sure that his guys try to get off the field, understand the gravity of the situation. There's a win on the line, boys. Found out about it. Uh, Richard Denton was out there with me, and we escorted the president, Dr. Glenn the Glover, out on the field, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being. Dr. Glover's a great person, and I enjoy being around him. Congratulations on everything. Thank you very much. Get some good speed, some good athleticism. He's obviously got a nose for the football. He's got two touchdowns in his career already. Bunch of interceptions. He had three his rookie year, so. On third down, the pass caught for a first down inside the 35 by Tory Gurley. And Leonard Johnson give a shout out to Largo High School in Clearwater, Florida. Somebody who learned under you. And that was one of those, you know, follow your dreams with the roster cut. He's a guy who who made it, who stuck as a long shot when you go back historically. Ernest Graham, we all remember Mr. Yeah. August, the great running back who helped the Bucks for so many years before an injury.